Hello, brave, wonderful soul friend. Thank you so much for your amazing question. I'm so proud of you and I believe in you infinitely. It's such an honor to continue sharing this magical, miraculous healing journey. And I truly believe the best is yet to come. You are already enough. You are already worthy. And I'm so proud of you for every healing journey investment that you are courageously embracing right now and have and will continue to. So peaking your question, tips for dealing with the needs of these child parts who um, have the, the loose threads of attachments kind of stuff and can experience proximity seeking behavior. So hmm, what a beautiful question. What a beautiful opportunity for healing. So in this process, these aspects of your consciousness are seeking an adult sense of security and you can provide that for them. These aspects of your consciousness are seeking the experience of being in proximity with a grounded, present, loving adult and you can be that for them. You might be in one singular body, but you can be that adult self for them. And it takes practice. It takes practice of unblending. It takes practice of, you know, playing with different ways to be there for yourself. It takes practice. It's not an overnight thing. And attunement is a big part of it. But it's important to keep in mind that you are the adult that they seek. And every time you feel an inclination to go towards someone else, you're blending. And you can't be there for these parts of yourself if there's no distinction between you and them. So investing in unblending continuously, ongoing, all day, every day, it's a, it's a constant thing. And the more you do it, the more possible it will become because you're rewiring your brain so that you can have distinction between these aspects of yourself. And the more distinction there is, the more chance you'll have to be there for them, which is awesome because that's where the magic happens. So continue practice unblending and a big part of that is practicing being an objective observer and conscious responder. So pretend that every single thought, every single feeling, every single anything that's happening in your mind and your body belongs to a part and not to you. None of the stuff is yours. Not just some of it, none of it. Practice from that space. Practice being an objective observer from that space where none of it's yours. All of it belongs to a part that needs you. And you can't be there if you are the part. So create distinction by describing it as theirs and not yours. And from that space, you'll have more room to be there for them. And then um, really amplify your daily rituals because that's what's really going to help them feel like you're an adult being there for them. And anything that can bring you into deeper presence with peace and especially being in nature is going to help the child parts. Because in that space of pure being, they can feel that there's an adult being there for them. If it's constant work, and I understand there's work, but if that's 100% what life is, the parts are going to really feel that and suffer from that. And so as tough as it can be, there must be some kind of balance where you're taking time to go hike in nature. You're taking time to sit and look at the flowers. You're taking time to just be and create space to relax. And the more you can do that away from people, the more space you'll have to be there for your parts. Because every time there's a person around, the attachments are being activated and you're losing ability to be there in an unblended state so you can be there for these, these parts of yourself. So more alone time, more time in nature, more daily rituals, more weekly rituals of getting out and just doing something in nature that's just you being there for you. Maybe start going on a picnic once a week or something. Um, and the weather should be getting... The weather should be pretty good right now. I don't know exactly what your, the seasons are like there, but the weather should be pretty good right now. So now's a perfect time to commit to spending all day outside once a week and see what happens from that space. And that could look different every time. You could go to a different hiking trail. Sometimes you could hike. Sometimes you could just sit in the park. But do something like that where you're really committing to being with you and creating space for you to be with you. Away from people, away from work, away from stress, away from responsibilities, away from distractions. You're going to find a lot of healing with that kind of practice. And if you'd ever like to dive deep through another consciousness consultant call, I would be honored to connect with you. And do stay tuned for my Healing into Happiness book. I think you would really, really love it and really benefit from it. There's um, dozens and dozens of play prompts in it. And these play prompts are amazing because you can do them 
throughout your day. Like a lot of them are only take a few minutes or you can incorporate them into your daily rituals. Some of them take you to, you know, require a little bit more, but it's incorporate. It's, it's designed to be easily incorporated into your everyday healing journey of life. And from there, there's a lot of ideas for daily rituals and stuff. So it really aligns with um, this topic. And a lot of these would be things that would really help you connect with your child parts, really help you create space to unblend, really help you amplify your healing journey where you're at. So let me know if you're interested in that. And I can keep you posted when it's coming out. Um, and keep keep playing with the Restoring, um, Restoring Consciousness Toolkit. Keep playing with the guided meditations that you purchased a while back. Those are going to be really, really helpful tools as well um, for this process because it really is about practicing presence. The child parts need to know that there's an adult there and only you can provide that for them. Other people, other adults, they cannot provide that If you even try to have that happen, you're just going to blend worse and have less of an ability to be there and things will only intensify within you rather than become healed or resolved. So please do make sure that you are being the adult that is there for them and not allowing other people to step in because it's it's only going to set you back. It might feel like that's what's needed and I totally get that because I've been there, but I promise that's not what is truly needed and it will not benefit your healing journey. So make sure you're taking time for you. I believe in you. I love you. I know the best is yet to come. And you got this. Oh, one step at a time. You're doing great. Ah, You're doing great.